Now we are going to see some examples of decimals. This is decimal fractions. After that we are going to see the exact decimals. Okay. So decimal fraction but the topic is decimal. Okay. Example 6 by 10. 6 part out of 10 is equal to 6 tenths. While using the terms in decimals tenths, hundreds and thousands. You know that place value that is ones, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand and lakhs, ten lakhs. It's going is a normal. Okay. But while you go for uh, decimals, you have to use after the whole number, you have to put a point. Okay. For example, I'll tell you 1.6. Okay. 1.6. 1 is a whole number. I put a point that is a decimal point. After the point, what is the number will come? It is a, it is a what, it is a place value of Tens. The first number after the point you have to write the first number that is called as tens. So that is called as tens place value. The next number is hundreds. The next number is thousands. So we can we can we called it as like that. Okay. So this is what we this is you have to memorize. This is what very important. So look at this. That is what I have written. Six by ten. Six parts out of ten. That is six by ten. That is six parts out of ten. A 6 out of 10, you even you can say that. Okay, 6 tens. And after that, 14 by 100, 14 parts out of 10, that is 14 hundredths. Otherwise, we can go 14 out of 10, also you can use it. 45 by 1000, 45 parts out of 100, what is, out of thousands. So, we can say 45 thousands you have to write. Next is, these are the examples, 6 by 10 and 14 by 100 and 45 by 1000. These are called as a decimal fractions. These are called as what? Decimal fraction. Basically, these are all in fraction, uh, a fraction method. But why we call it as a decimal fraction? Because we have to convert in 6 by 10, we can call it as 6 tenths. And 14 by 100, we can call it as 14 hundreds and 45 by 1000 we can call it as 45 thousands, 6 tenths, 14 hundreds, 45 thousands. So these words are called as, it's mentioned as a decimal what fraction. That is what we use this. So decimal fraction is a fraction where denominators is either 10, 100, 1000 or called decimal fractions that means decimal fraction is a fraction it is a normal fraction but the, the denominators is either if the denominator is a 10 or 100 or 1000 are called as a decimal fractions next one is the above fraction can be represented as a decimal number so this fraction is converted as a decimal numbers that is what they mention can be represented as a decimal numbers a decimal number is a part of a whole number decimal is a part of whole number what is a decimal a decimal is a part of a whole number that is the meaning of the sentence so it is a part of a whole number so 10 is a part it is a 10 is a part actually 10 parts we have to write only one so we have selected only one one by 10 so that is what they mention it is the decimal is a part of a whole number so tens place 1 by 10 tens place mean 1 by 10 you can get you can convert into decimal 0 0.1 and hundreds place we have to write 1 by 100 it becomes what 0 0.01 and after that it is thousands place 1 by 1000 you have to write 0 0.001 so look at this how you are going to convert 1 by 10 means see look at the numerator numerator is 1 and denominator is what 10 so how many zeros in that place only one zero so you have to move only one digit that means one you have to write as it is then you have to that means you have to move this side okay it means move to this what what this this is a right side and this side. you have to move the left side so one point you have to write then after that before the point you have to add zero so zero zero point one is the right answer for this question because one zero that is what you have to move only one digit to the left left direction and 1 by 100 look at this you have to write 1 as it is but how many zeros are here here only one zero here how many zeros two zeros so that means you have to move to uh, two places you have to move two places to the left direction that means what one after that you have to there is no digit that that means you don't have digit means you have to put a zero then you have to put a point then put the point before that you have to write a zero because a decimal means you have to write zero then after that you have to put a point then you have to write the digits 
okay this is 0 1 and that means 0 0.01 this is the what decimal exactly decimal value that means hundreds place that is what I have written and 1 by 1000 so what are you going to go write 1 by 1000 means how many digits in, how many that in the first you have to look at the denominator numerator and denominator numerator as it is 1 but the denominator is 1000 how many zeros in 1000 three zero. that means you have to move three places already one digit is here so you have to write one as it is then you don't have other two digits that is what you have to put 0 1 0 2 0 then you have to put a point then after that what you're going to write one more zero before the point the answer is 0 0.001 this is what this is the this this is the right methodology this is what I've written here I've just written only the answer after that I'm explained here